what I'm doing right now and then I create a blog post which I write on the side and I get ready for this and then after that I just paste, put that inside the engine and I also use a tool called Only hey my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon here and today we're going to talk about sharing the sharing content across 30 platforms actually more than that in 30 minutes or less and how you can do that too with unique content you know creating content for all the platforms is a lot of work but what if you could do it really quickly and easily we're going to get to that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets. That's right, it's possible you can create content. I actually do that myself. I create content every week and then I post it to 30, uh, 35 or 34 platforms. I'm going to show you how I'll do that and you can do that too. But before we get into that, I want to remind you if you're listening to the audio of this, you're going to want to go check out the video at CIS. 481.jsgagnon.com because I'll be sharing my screen showing you exactly what I'm talking about and um, you will be able to read the blog post as well all right so let's get right to it let's share my screen and show you what I'm talking about so first of all you're going to need to have a way of generating unique content for your um for your for your platforms I mean this is um called the syndication engine that's what I use basically what I do is I record a video I upload it then I enter information and I click a button and it generates all the pieces that I need for all the different platforms right so for me what I do is I record a video with OBS which is what I'm doing right now and then I create a blog post which I write on the side and I get ready for this and then after that I just paste, put that inside the engine and I also use a tool called OnlyWire to share it to other platforms and I take these different pieces of content and share them to different platforms as you can see right here right and then there's stories and then there's uh sound um audio files right so there's all these different things and uh let me actually show you what I'm talking about when I talk about the different content so there you go right so I start with a YouTube video then I create a personal blog then I go to LinkedIn I go to LinkedIn groups LinkedIn articles I go to Twitter Facebook page Facebook profile Facebook groups BitClout Instagram reels Aweber email Click eCourse Alexa skills SoundCloud Apple podcast Stitcher iHeartRadio Google podcast and then uh through only wire to blogger live journal WordPress pocket Instapaper Reddit Pinterest and then I do a story where it goes to YouTube Shorts, Snapchat, Facebook Stories, Instagram Stories, Facebook Reels, TikTok Stories, TikTok Feed, and even MeWe. So that's like 34 platforms. And I do that all within about 30 minutes. I'm actually going to go through the process right now with you. And I'm actually going to post my, uh, post my, uh, my posts right now. Let's get to it. All right, so the first thing I do is my YouTube uh, video. So I got my YouTube video right here. It's already uploaded. And then I just make it public, right? I go here, I get public and I click on publish and that's it. Now it's public, the YouTube video. Then I go to my blog where I written the blog post, right? And I just click on the publish button right there. And then this, what this does is as soon as I, uh, uh, I paste that in here, I guess I don't have the right user here. As soon as I, um, I click on there that basically makes my uh where's my not my networks my <clears throat> my posts so if I look at for example the post from let's say last month let's say September 1st to now you can see that I've posted different posts and they're automatically sent if I look at this you can see that it got sent to blogger live journal wordpress and I guess there's issues with some of my logins but that's fine and uh, but that's you know once that's automated that happens right so then I go to to LinkedIn and I post a LinkedIn post and I have text that's ready for it I just take that text which I'm copying there from my other screen I just paste it in here and make sure that this is for Twitter and everyone I paste my plug my content and then I find the file 
in my uh in my videos whoops let's go back up here to here 480 uh that's actually not it that's 480 no it is 480 isn't it yes it is right because I'm actually recording the other one so this is last week's blog post I'm doing it right now before I get to start to work so basically I take the video the five minute one that I have from there and then I also come in here and I take the auto captions off upload the srt which is also right here and I apply that and then I change the thumbnail actually in my case I take a gif a gif whichever way you want to call it that I use as the thumbnail and then I post it I click on next and I click on post so now that posts to my uh, LinkedIn then I go to my pages I also have pages where I post this same video so I'm going to do that right now I post to uh two pages again the same thing start a post I paste the content I have and I also take the title here because that's the title of the video and I go back here and I add the video from the same video <coughs> and then I add the title right here then I add the subtitles and you, as you can see it's pretty straightforward and you're, you know this is uh you just have to have the things ready right to do it and that's what the uh, syndication engine does right it lets me prepare all this ahead of time and then whenever I'm ready I just click on the the I just I just uh, post the the videos uh, uh so what I do is I post a five minute video on Facebook on LinkedIn and a two minute video on Twitter the full video on YouTube and uh, basically uh, a, 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 a vertical video on Instagram so we're going to show you that too so let's just keep going here go to the third of it, the third page I have two pages and my profile where I post on LinkedIn and that's what I'm doing right now let's just get that over here take the image uh, not the image but the media I guess which is going to be the five minute video right here title again I just select the title apply the title now you know LinkedIn has changed a lot uh, at least their UI has changed a lot and this is actually the first time I record something with the new UI and then we uh, go to the thumbnail I want, a, I want a gif that gif to be the thumbnail and I go like that and then I next and then I post so now I have the three posts uploading usually I want to, by the time I go back to the main the video says complete but it's right now it's still working so there you go it's already done so then I just like this video or love it actually and then I put a comment in here which is the uh, first the link to the blog post which uh, basically is what I'm saying in the end of the video oh it's warm in here okay so then I sh repost this to groups so I go here repost repost with your thoughts go up here select groups go to the groups that I'm in and click on save right here and then I'm done and then on post now I could add stuff in here but I, I haven't been doing that so I'll just go like this so I do that to f to the different groups I'm in that have you know are related to what what I'm doing and then I just post these on the different groups so I'm just going to go through that right here going through the different groups that I'm in there's uh, about 10 groups I think I'm in that I post to all the time so that's what I'm doing right now repost share with your thoughts next group go like that and then we click on the done and then on the post and then we go to the next one go right up here group Lion. and you know I've done lots of things with uh, LinkedIn I've actually have a course on LinkedIn that lets you um, to understand all this and I'm actually probably going to update some of this stuff in my because the images you know the, the screenshots I have are actually uh, from the old uh, LinkedIn interface right so just go back here keep going until I'm done all my groups and uh, there's just a few left post again over here so now I've got 
two more to go obviously you could do less groups you can do more groups but there's a certain you know it's like any other social media platform if you do too much too fast uh, they will not like it they might block you right they might notice it you might get marked as spam in groups and people might not like you posting so you got to kind of work your way up to that right so now I've done the uh, uh, the, the link uh, LinkedIn groups so now I'm just going to go back to these pages where I posted the videos and I'm just going to go down here and I'm going to react to the video and I think it's a little slow right now because I'm using my computer and I'm recording right but over here I'm going to do the same thing I'm just going to paste the link to the video then I go back up here and I go to the other page I have and go down here to the video link and then that's it so now I've done the LinkedIn post in my profile the LinkedIn post in my pages and the LinkedIn sharing to groups now now the next part is the article so I actually write a LinkedIn article and the way I do that is I just take my um, post I guess I don't have a tab open with it so I'm going to just go back to here and go up here to visit site instead so we're going to go to the page because what I do is I go to the blog post I have here so this is my blog right looks like that I'm going to take this and we're going to paste that into LinkedIn as a the title upload the image from my computer which will be the thumbnail right here and then I'm going to go back to here and I'm going to take the content of the post not all of it because I want people to come back to my to my blog right my blog is the is the reason that I want them to and I'm just going to say it like that so I take most of my posts but not all of it so that there is a reason to maybe go but also usually when I have links I want them in the in the post because the more time more places where your links are the more likely your page is going to be shared by uh, Google search right so over here I just put read so continue reading at and then I put the blog post link and then I make this whole thing the link not just the link itself but the whole thing back up here click on the link thing paste the link again apply this and then I just click on next and in the in the description there I put the same thing about my with the hashtags and stuff and take that out of here because that's not there we go and then I click on publish so now I've done the LinkedIn LinkedIn groups LinkedIn uh, pages LinkedIn profile and now I'm going to do Twitter I click on share on Twitter right here for the post in LinkedIn I just click on post and then over here and then afterwards I click on the actual so I do the two minute the two minute video for Twitter right so I click on the upload because that takes a little bit I guess they slowed it down because I'm not paying that monthly fee that they want right then I go back here and I get my Twitter text and I just take that and paste that in here I just take the duplication that happens and then I just wait for this upload to finish right it's just super slow now because <laughs> that's the thing right they really want you to pay so they slow everything down so I'm just going to let it <coughs> do that while I do the rest and we'll come back to Twitter so now we've got LinkedIn done and now we're doing Facebook so in Facebook I go to my page and I and I go to photo video right here and I do again it's the five minute video I do right here so like that and under video options I take the I take the sub the title of my video which is over here there we go and I change the thumbnail I think I might not need to do that because it seems like it always picks this pretty much the same the same image that I would normally pick but my but you could have a different thumbnail that you generate right so for me I just uh, take this thumbnail here save that and then I'm gonna put, 
in the post I do this like this and I take the rest of my content text and there we go and then I just post it so again this it's already uploaded I'm, I never had a button I don't know that doesn't seem to work so I post that and then after a few minutes it's posted after a minute or two it's posted and then I use uh, my phone actually I use my phone to do the uh, Instagram let me see if I can get my phone shared on here as well all right so then what I do is I go to Facebook I go to my actual page over here where I posted that video right so on my phone I'm on my personal profile so I just go to my page right over here and uh, then I just go to the post talk about Facebook you know? turn the sound off we copy the text and then I share this to my personal profile first and then I share it to groups now under groups so I've got a few groups I share stuff to that I just kind of share so I just paste the text in there into these groups so yeah so then I just it's Facebook groups right Facebook and Facebook groups and uh, then and you know I, I shared about I don't know 15 groups or so so then over here I go like this share it to some of these money groups so the idea here is that you want people to see your post but also you want your friends to see that you're sharing to groups right so that it becomes a notification and they might uh, notice that and they might go and check it out right so that's one of the reasons why you do this not necessarily to get people to in those groups because those are like these groups are mostly spam groups right so and I just do it like this every week I do that like that normally it's on Fridays today is Monday because uh last last Friday I wasn't able to do it so there we go so now I've shared to Facebook so LinkedIn Twitter well actually Twitter is still ongoing is it done is Twitter done right here let's see if the upload see 34 percent still that's pretty crazy can you see that no it's behind there so 34 percent 35 percent really slow Twitter um okay so now let's do uh Instagram so I go to Instagram very nice uh and I just do a post oh I forgot I got to go download the the video from my uh from my content from my syndication engine right so the syndication engine like I said creates the content for me I upload the video and then I just uh go get that video so 480 is the one we're doing right now so I'm just gonna download the IGTV 5m right here talk about let's Facebook. turn the sound off okay so this is the video I just I just save it to my phone I just download it right let's wait for it to finish it's not going to take too too long I probably and I can let's just pause and come back all right so once the video is downloaded then I can go back to Instagram and then I can just choose this video it's actually by default click on next and then as you can see this is a vertical video it's got my you know title at the top and the subtitles at the bottom I'm just going to paste this content in here then what I do is I take the link I put it at the top of my video up here and then I copy the the title of the video for other posts then I just post this right so then I'm sh I'm posting to Instagram hey look there's Brittany so on Instagram uh look at that you can see uh my anyways it's it's uploading so let's just let it finish so that's Instagram Instagram is most is pretty much done do I do anything else no that's it that's all I do if I go back to my list here right so I'll go back to my list here it's been about 20 minutes but you know, obviously I'm talking so it slows it down a bit but I've done YouTube I've done my personal blog LinkedIn LinkedIn groups LinkedIn article Twitter is in uploading oh it's done Twitter is done let's post Twitter and then we are good we can close this so Facebook page is done Facebook profile is done Facebook groups is done so now let's do bitcloud bitcloud is right over here so I just go in here and I take a 
the text for my bitcloud post and I go home here and I do a new post so why am I posting to all these social media platforms just to get the word out there right so I think the image the image hasn't been working for a while let's just try it still because <coughs> it gives me this like error but it might work today oh yeah okay I don't know what that is I think it's a bug so I'm just going to put a link to YouTube right here go back to my channel get the YouTube link and then go back to BitCloud and paste that right there and there we go so post that that's uh BitCloud is done right it wants an authorization because it is a social crypto platform okay so now what's next is uh we got BitCloud got Instagram reels Aweber email so Aweber email is basically I just come in here and I create a new message and I have the Aweber text already ready so I take the subject up here let's get it to load up there we go place that right there get the whole content of the email I make the titles heading threes it's actually the first time I uh, post about this this is kind of how I do my yeah uh, my my Aweber emails with my you know my course income secrets uh, videos here but I just uh, and then I just add some carriage turns to kind of air it out a bit there we go Oops, one more. and then up top here I do the same thing and then I add an image which is my which is the gif right the gif with the play on top of it <coughs> and then I put a link uh, for the video did I oh I missed the last line here oh, I thought it was something missing there we go all right so I need the link from here the URL of the blog post and make this whole thing a link I save that and then uh, the image I change the image link to that as well and then I save it and then I schedule it for 1 p.m on the Mondays usually I post on the Fridays right so let's just uh, do that right now for 1 p.m I schedule this and I make it go to my course income secrets and Twitter like this send it to all my lists with the Seinfeld tag and then I send it today at 1 p.m there we go and then I don't need this and schedule there we go so that's Aweber so Aweber is done then I do click eCourse which is going to let me so if I go to click eCourse I can actually uh, go to the feed or actually I can go to the well let's go to the feed and show you what that looks like so on here I can also post and I actually do post but I don't post in the feed what I do is I go to the the course and I basically create a new lesson in that course and automatically it goes to the feed in uh, click eCourse but it also uh, becomes a an audio that's available in um, uh, other platforms so I just come in here click on the plus for the lesson do the same for the I've, 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 I'm posting for two right see as for Alexa basically I post the five minute video here and that is automatically take out the audio so that it's available as an audio for Alexa So then what I do here is I just take the title whoops take the title right here put the title here put the title here as well then I take the first 
the first line in the blog post as the summary which really isn't a summary but it's kind of how I've been doing these and then I take the rest of the text and I put it inside of here I need this link right here make this a link like that and see if there's any other links otherwise I take this and I paste it in the other one and then I go over here and say 20 23 10 uh, what was it fix all right choose a file this is the full video so I just take the full video and I save that then I go to the Alexa one and then I just basically choose the file the five minute one and that's it I let that happen because that takes a few minutes and then by, while that's happening I do the uh, SoundCloud so over here I upload the WAV file and I select the image of the SoundCloud thumbnail which is the SoundCloud this one here and I get the text from the uh, engine with the title right here I take this and copy it over to here and then I take the whole description and I paste that in the in here I take the title the URL go put it over here and then I select business in my case business audiobook and I go to the top here get the this as the caption get some text out of there because it's too much all right then I go to metadata put my name I know this is kind of you know tedious but this is really really as simple as that posting to 35 35 groups right it's actually not the seventh it's the six oops what happened here can I not put that in there okay zero six or nine ten and twenty-three all right so and then no and no and then I basically I undo the permissions because I don't I think any like you know if anybody can get these they should and then I save that and that's it so now that's done there and then I go back to here that's not finished so that's done after this is done I just edit this and I update the, uh, the this is for Alexa so the thumbnail I make it publish and post in the feed and I change the thumbnail to the actual thumbnail I need which in this case is the SoundCloud one which is this one and I save that and now if I go back to here you can see that I have all of these all these videos all right so now let's go back to our list so we got Alexa eCourse that made Alexa skills that made SoundCloud made Apple podcast Stitcher iHeartRadio and then with only wire I had all this now the only thing left would be to do a story about my post and we'll do that um you know I'll do that and I'll post and then that's basically it that's basically how you get to 30 platforms 35 right 34 34 platforms in like 30 minutes it'll only be in 30 minutes here and that's the secret but the thing is you need to have the syndication engine right so let's go back to here I'm just going to show you where that is under here you got a syndication engine and I guess I can turn my phone off there's no sense to have my phone black screen so there's a syndication engine you go in here you can create a new series but in my case I have these these done and basically what it does is it lets it generates for me all these different like images right there's an image right here uh, another um, let's say this image right here is a is a gif right a gif 
and you can have it generate a two minute video five minute you can have it generate a 10 minute video if you want from your full video you just upload your full video and you tell it you also tell it where you're you can either upload the video or give it a youtube video and then you and, then, and if you want subtitles you can set up the subtitles it'll do all this stuff for you the thing that you have to do is just prepare the engine to do the content you want like as you can see I've got a two minute five minute got an IGTV video right here and that's basically what you need is you need the content so you create the content get the engine to generate all the pieces for you and then you have all those to post to all the platforms all right hopefully you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next episode this has been Course Income Secrets, the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon, until next time.